welcome. It's almost coming up to four o'clock tea time, um, but maybe we can wait for our tea just after practicing, if you're practicing with me today, or watching from the comfort of your sofa. I just wanted to show you this. It's a beautiful pink rose. Yeah, so just reminding myself and everybody just to take time to just look closely at nature, which you might have around your house or just outside the window. Okay. Hi, Naila. It's been a long time since I've seen you. Wow, nice to have you here. Okay, so here we are. It's four o'clock. Let's start standing as it's Monday. Let's start with some power. Um, you can probably do this seated as well. So I'm Marina White Raven, and if it's the first time practicing with me, welcome everybody. Let's start off just by releasing some tension, and most of the practice is focused on that, and we do that through the body and through the breath. So we start off just by lifting the shoulders up, breathe in through the nostrils, hold at the top, and then breathe out and release everything. Wow, that's already a lot better. Keep your knees nice and soft while you're doing this. Breathing in, squeeze, 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 hold the breath, and then out through the mouth. Let's try that again, breathing into the nostrils, squeeze the shoulders up, and then out through the mouth. Let's roll the shoulders back a few times, let's oil the joints. So we're going to warm up and limber the body by oiling the joints. And how do we oil the joints? By moving. Movement is everything. Movement of the body. So when we're sitting still, and we're kind of, you know, not feeling very motivated, then that just prevents us from moving anymore. So even a little bit of movement is a really good idea. And let's roll the shoulders forwards a few times. Another way of doing this actually, which is really nice, we'll just try that as well, because I think we really need to work on these shoulders and the neck and all the tension that um, we may have collected in there. By putting the hands on the shoulders, and then you can make these circles with your elbows. So. It's kind of, yeah, it's slightly different, gets a little bit more active. And just moving, moving the body. So we're trying to make as big a circles as we can with the elbows, with the points of the elbows. Try and make that really big and do it slowly, enjoy. It's almost like a little internal massage you're giving yourself. Use the breath, breathing in through the nostrils and breathing out as you open the chest and take the shot up, the elbows back, so breathing in. And breathing out. Yeah, breathing in as you lift those elbows. Let's try the other direction. And breathing them forwards. Keep the knees nice and bendy and soft. Just enjoy. Notice how you feel. Notice your body. Notice your breath. Where is your mind? Where's your mind going? What's it being captured by? Let me just uh, give everything a little shake. Just shaking the wrists. We're going to do a little bit of work on the wrists. So first of all, we might want to flex the wrists up and down. Keep breathing in and out through your nostrils and noticing your breath. And then we'll just rotate the wrists. Yeah, that's a lovely bit of light. I'm just catching the light with my hands. So enjoy this. You know, you can watch this. When you watch and get involved with your body, it becomes endlessly fascinating. And we're always in this dance all the time. Let's try the other direction. That's more unusual for me, feels weird. So we're just rotating the wrists. And then we're gonna see if we can rotate the ankles. So put the weight onto the left foot. If you're feeling like you can't stand on one foot, you can always, you know, rest, uh, it's better that way. But try not to lean on it if you're leaning on the wall or a chair, okay? But feel free to do that uh, if you feel like you really can't stand at all. But if you can, if, even if it's only short pits, please stay with it, right? I'm gonna put my hands on my hips, it always helps. And I'm gonna flex the ankle back and forth. Let me step back. So I'm just gonna flex, standing on that left leg. Flex, so you're pointing the toe up, then you're pointing it down. And then I might see if I can just rotate that ankle by drawing a big circle with the big toe in one direction and then the other direction. Notice where your mind is going. Become aware of your breath. Don't hold your breath. And then 
you might want to just take a little rest there let's hit the other, other ankle so that's going to flex it back and forth it helps the standing leg i find if i just have my knee slightly bent it just helps my balance a little bit more so flexing up and down back and forth and then rotating in one direction again remember you're drawing a big circle with your big toe breathe evenly in and out through the nostrils and then rotating in the other direction it also helps when you're balancing to bring your eyes to something a focus on one point or watch your body watch your leg your knee your foot and change over now we're going to think about the knee of this right leg so we're just going to let that lift the knee off the ground or lift the leg off the ground and then just let that lower part of the leg just swing nice and easily step back so you can see easier yeah just swinging so just using the weight of the leg there again you can hold on to a wall or a chair if this feels too difficult at the moment okay just using the weight of the leg movement is everything and sometimes if it's um compromised a joint you don't want to put weight on it and move it sometimes just moving it freely in space using just the weight of that limb is good other side now so weight on the right foot and we're just going to bring a bit of ease into the knee the left knee letting it just swing using the weight of the leg now we're going to just think about the hips so we're going to change legs again and we're just going to swing the whole of the right leg so let it really let it swing so you should feel this in your hip you can do this as well if you want to if you're at home and you've got either a block or a big thick book a big thick book is just as good as a block and you can this is really good if you want to you know go on another level is stand on that that and then let that leg swing again you can hold on to the chair if you feel a bit uneasy about that but then you're really going to get lots of length in that um the psoas muscles and you might have heard of that it's amazing how much just by giving the weight of a leg to that you can even Get a bit more movement in that hip just by bringing the foot in front and behind. Just let it swing freely. Bring it round if you want to do that. And then change. And when you change, just notice how does it feel? Oh, that feels very different. And then you can either with or without something to stand on. You can do it. You can do it just by as I did, swinging the leg back and forth. Just giving some freedom, particularly to the hips. That's why we're, look, we're looking at the hip freeing up that hip joint. This is nice and simple. But the tricky bits, those of you who are thinking this is too easy, is bring your mind and focus your mind on what you're doing and your breath. That is that is the deeper practice in my in my mind. I'm just going to try it on the book. If you've got a yoga block, that's great, but I'm just showing that you don't need any special equipment at all. Good. Okay. So now, oh yes, and you can, of course, then bring that, as I did before, it's quite tricky, swinging it in front and behind. You have to really focus your attention, breathe evenly, so it's a really mindful practice. Good, and then bring that down, that one. Notice how your body feels, a little bit different now, hopefully. So let's um, come into some nice loosening, freeing Tai Chi twists, so as always, Bend the knees a bit more when the body's facing forward, twisting the body to look behind you. Let your arms swing quite heavily. Bend the knees as the body faces forward, so it gets a little dip at the front. And see if you can look right behind you. Just let your arms swing. Breathe in and out through your nostrils. Enjoy this freeing, loosening practice. One of my favourites. I nearly always do this in practice. And I particularly love where the backs of my hands just pop into the lumbar region, the lower back. It just feels really energising. Let's just come to a stop. Let's just pummel the lower back. So just give that a little bit of a pummel all around that area. And then you might want to just give it a little rub as well. Oh, that feels so good. Just get the knuckles in either side of the lower back, the spine there. It's just so warming and uh, you kind of feel that you're giving yourself some support as well. It's often an area the lower back can become a bit tender and uh, needy when we're not feeling supported in our lives. I've often found that. Okay, good. So let's uh, do a little side bend just to get these sides nice and open 
in preparation for our triangle. So feet uh, as wide as your mat or maybe even wider. Knees are nice and soft. Let's bring the arms up above the head, give them a good stretch. And then we're just going to actually bring the palms together. We're going to do this palm tree movement. So breathe in, extend up and breathing out. We're going to lean to the right on the out breath. I'm going to reach up on the in breath and lean to the left on the out breath. Push into the foot that you're leaning towards. It does help support you breathing in and breathing out. So go in time with your breath, using the in breath to lift, to elevate you. Keep standing up with the arms and breathing out to the side. Breathing in. Let's do one more either side, breathing out. See if you can go a little bit further on the out breath without forcing or straining. Breathing in, lift up. Breathing out, going a little bit further now, last time, and then breathing in all the way up. On the last breath, out through the nostrils, slowly lower the arms down to the body. Let's get a bit more warmth in the body, just to get ourselves a bit more limber by bringing the foot, the feet to the backside, just very quickly. Let's get the blood circulating. Notice your breath moving in and out of your nostrils. Notice where your mind is settling. Where your mind is, where is your mind uh, going? What is it focusing on? What is your attention being grabbed by? Lifting the knees now, nice and high. Get them really as high as you can. Don't forget to smile. Even if you don't feel like smiling, just do it, try it. And if you don't like it, you can go back to the sad face. But try it. Good, let's take the leg out to the side, just open up the hips a little bit more. The buttock feels really nice, a good feeling. Breathing in and out through the nostrils the whole time. Good. And then we'll just do a bit more work on the hip by lifting and opening. So these hips should be getting nice and warm by now. Breathing in to lift, breathing out, lower down. Opening, lift the knee and open the hip joint. Nice big open hips. In and out through the nostrils, beautiful. Good. One more either side, just to get lovely warmth and energy moving in this lower part of the body. So if you've been sitting quite a lot, it's good. Sorry, straighten the mat out, it's got a bit rumpled up. Okay, so standing at the front of the mat, triangle, trikonasana, yes. So it's a good job we've opened those sides up. Put the uh, feet, our hips width apart. They're parallel, the, the feet. Put the hands together, standing nice and tall. Breathe in, put the weight onto your left foot, step back with the right foot. One of your leg lengths is the space between the feet here. Square the hips to themselves and to the long edge of the mat in front of you. Breathing in, extend the arms up, lift the chest. Breathing out, bring the arms down to shoulder height. Breathing in, open the palms, open the chest. Breathing out, look down that left arm, reaching over to your left, and then down. Make contact with that lower leg, with that left hand, and reaching up to the ceiling, reaching up to the heavens with the right fingertips. Extend right into the fingertips. Don't let your hands just be kind of floppy or, you know, really extend. Like you really mean it, like you're really wanting to expand and extend. Unlock the knees, breathe deeply. Look up at that right hand if your neck is okay to do so. Good, breathe. Use your next in breath to come up. Lower the arms on the out breath. Bend into that right knee, bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Take a moment there. Take a breath, put the weight onto the right foot. Step back with the left. Again, same distance. Foot, this left foot is at a right angle to the right. Square the hips, keep the tummy tucked in, point the tailbone down, breathing in. Lift the arms, but also lift the chest. Lengthen, bring the arms down to shoulder height. Breathing in, open the chest, open the palms. Breathing out, reaching over to the right as far as you can, then down, meet the lower leg with your right hand, reaching up with the left hand, fingertips, extending to the ceiling. At the left shoulder is trying to get away from your ear, so you're making your neck really nice and long. This left side of the neck should be 
very open. Keep the neck in line with the, uh, the spine. So either looking forward so that doesn't feel okay to look up, otherwise turning the head and also letting the, sh the chest turn towards the ceiling. Unlock the knees. Come up on the in-breath. Lower the arms on the out-breath. Bend the left knee, bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Take a moment there to breathe. So we're going to uh, come into another standing posture. Take a moment there. We're going to come into warrior one, but we're going to step backwards into this. Yeah, step back into the into some unknown space. So get yourself ready, standing at the front of the mat. And then we're going to put the weight onto the left foot. You're going to step back with the right foot. It's just a different way to come into the posture. You can always do step forward if this doesn't feel okay. So it's a big, big step. So you might want to shuffle. If you didn't think that's quite a big enough step, just shuffle the foot forward. Both the hips want to face forward. And if you feel like you're too wobbly, widen the stance. Wide that way, okay? Get the right hip forward, left hip back. Breathe in, lift the arms up. Breathing out, bending into that left knee. Good. Keep extending the fingertips up to the ceiling, making sure that your arms, so it's not in front of my face here, your arms are all out of your line of vision if possible. That's where you're working towards. So it should be up by your ears. Also putting some weight back into that right heel. Keep bringing that right hip forward, left hip back. And look up at the space between your hands if that feels okay. Make sure you're not gripping with your toes. Sink a little deeper. Come up on the in-breath. Lower the arms on the out breath. And you're going to just do this forward bend over this knee now. So as always, there's alternatives. So if you're feeling like your back is super uh, strong, you can extend your arms up and come down over that leg, or you can have the hands supporting the lower back as you come forward. Soften that knee as you come forward, whichever way you're doing this. Breathing out all the way down. Make contact with the floor. Bend the knees as much as you need to, to do that, the front knee. Back leg is staying straight. Look at those big toe, that big toe, and then you're going to start to lengthen that left leg. So you start to think about pushing the big, the big toe of the left foot into the ground, and think about the left hip reaching up away from that big toe. Keep contact with the ground. If you can't make contact with the ground, put something on the floor that you can hold on to, blocks or books or cushions, anything, but not be, not be hanging there in space, that's not fun. Good. Breathe. It's on the out breath where you are be where you are creating the space. Long, slow out breath. Now soften that knee. Walk your hands up if you feel like that's easier for you. Good. And then bend into that knee and bring yourself back to the back of the mat. Oh, we're at the front. Don't come forward. <laughs> I forgot. We're stepping back. Right. <laughs> Wherever you are, come back to the front. Sorry. Put the weight onto the right foot and we'll take a big step back with the left. Yes. So you, again, you can step forward into that. To set yourself up, so you might want to widen your feet, making sure the back foot is pointing fairly forward. It's not going to be directly forwards, but not out at an angle. Then bring your hips to face forwards on your mat. Push that left heel down, breathing in, lift the arms up. There's a space between the hands there. And on the out breath, you're going to bend into that right knee. It's going to only go uh, as far as it's hovering over the ankle there, no further. And to help you do that, keep pushing into that back heel. So that back leg, the left leg is really strong. Try and keep a bit of engagement here in the abdominals. So just tucking them in and pointing the tailbone down. So this is strong, this band around your center. Keep a strong center. All the time extending the arms up, keeping the shoulders down. You can look up at the space between the hands if you want to. All the time bringing that right hip back and the left hip pushing that forwards. It's a lot, it's a lot of different things, but great because it keeps your mind occupied. And this is what we're really wanting to do. Breathing in, all the way up, breathing out, arms down, and we're gonna bend, uh, then we're gonna do the forward bend, sorry. So, either hands holding the back, or arms extended, breathe in, and breathing out, coming down over this leg, bend the knee slightly as you do that, reach the ground, 
either on the fingertips or the hands. Bend that right knee as much as you need to, to, to enable yourself to make contact with the ground, using whatever else things to, to uh, make contact with the ground as well. So lengthening this front leg, the right leg, push that big toe, the right foot, into the ground, and the other direction, that right hip is reaching up into the heavens. So we're lengthening the right leg. Breathe. Look at the toes with your eyes. Good. Breathe. Now just bend into that right knee. Walk the hands up the leg. And we're going to just step forward back to the front of the mat. Good. Just take a little moment here. Get the legs a little shake. I think it's time we had a little bit of recovery. So let's come into our ragdoll recovery. Yes. Thank goodness it's arrived. Feet hips width apart. Bring the chin to the chest, so feeling the waist of the head, knees bend, hands are on the thighs, just sliding down, breathing all the way down. Let yourself slowly, keep breathing in and out through the nostrils, slowly come into this lovely restorative posture. Knees are bent, body is hanging, so the whole upper body is really heavy. And this is where we can do some nice releasing breaths. Breathe in through the nostrils. Sigh out through the mouth. Ah. Yeah. Give it some sound. Breathing into the nostrils, sighing out through the mouth. Ah. It feels good to give it sound. Let your sound out. Moans and groans also okay. Whatever you need to do there. Let your arms be heavy. Let the head particularly, the neck relax. See if you can experience the weight of the head. It's actually really heavy. If you had to hold that, that's, that's quite a heavy weight. So by releasing the weight of the head, you're giving your neck an actual treat. You're not, um, it's not putting e uh, force on the neck, it's actually releasing it and creating space on those upper vertebrae. Let's unfurl. So feel yourself being pulled up from the base of the spine by an invisible thread, or you can imagine the sun is shining at the base of the spine and it's just travelling up your back as if you're a little flower unfurling at the break of the day. Think about that little flower growing up inside you. It's like, oh yeah, it's waking up time. It's the sunrise, it's the springtime, lifting, filling you with light, new green energy. And let your shoulders sink down. Just let yourself stand for a moment to enjoy that feeling of openness, brightness. So we're just going to uh, give a nice little shake right here. We're going to come into wide leg position, wide leg forward bend. Okay. So the feet are parallel and as wide as you comfortably can. We don't want to put any strain into the thighs though, but nice and wide. So we're going to first of all take the hands to the hips, or if you want to place them on the lower back, you can. And we're going to just lengthen the spine. So breathing in, lift the chest. And on the out breath, we're going to lean forwards, keeping the back straight as long as we can. So you need to have the knees quite soft. Use the legs, the strength of the buttocks, use the abdominals as far as you can. And then reach the hands to the ground. You might need to bend your knees there, that's fine. Whatever you need to do to reach the ground, but you need to make contact with the ground here. It could be on your fingertips. Now we just see how this feels. You might want to come from your fingertips on the in-breath, look forwards to lengthen the spine, the chest is coming forwards, and breathing out, just forward bending a little deeper. We can do that a couple more times. Breathing in, lifting up your gaze, coming up onto the fingertips, looking forwards with the eyes, and breathing out, forward bend a little bit deeper. Good, just relax and release everything. We'll do that one more time. Three's a good number, right? Breathing in, come up right up on the fingertips, look forwards, the chest is coming forwards, wanting to see what's going on, and then breathing out, lovely, come right down. Some of you might, you know, we're going to be all different here. Some of you are going to be with a, lot, a big bend in the knee, some of you will be right down, the head will be touching the ground. It doesn't really matter, it's where you are at. It's quite nice you haven't got to see everybody else and compare. Comparison is never really useful. Okay, so we're going to walk the hands over to the left, see how far you can go. You might be able to go right around the side, maybe just reach towards the toes, just as far around as you can walk. 
and then we're going to walk back. Keep breathing in and out through the nostrils. Keep walking. Walk back. We're going to walk around to the right. Walking around, seeing what it feels like. Just being curious and interested in your body and the senses of your body and what it feels comfortable with and what it feels uncomfortable with. Bringing the body or bringing the head as close down to the ground as you can. And then we're just going to take uh, the hands to the hips, come up into a halfway pose. So our back is straight, you're looking forward, so you might be looking forward to me on the screen, as I am, lifting your elbows. You should be very strong in the belly and strong in the back here, and using your legs and using your buttocks, everything is working. Breathe out. Chest is forwards. Now use the in-breath and use the strength in your belly to come up. You might want to put your hands in your lower back if that feels too strong for you. Good. We're going to come down again, but just to do something slightly different. So interlink the fingers behind your back. Breathe in, lift the chest. Leading with the chest, keep the knees slightly soft. We're going so you can press against the back if this feels if it feels comfortable for you, comforting. And then coming down again. What does it feel like the second time? And then you start to let the weight of the hands and the arms come over the body. This is opening up between the shoulder blades and the front of the chest particularly. And breathe. Keep the knees slightly soft here. Make sure you feel okay. If you feel if you feel at all um, giddy or unbalanced, bring your hands to the floor. Don't try swinging yourself up into standing. Breathe in and breathe out. Keep the breath in and out through the nostrils. Now just let the hands come back. Bring them back to the waist. Then let the hands hang again once more. So we're going to come up like a wide leg rag doll. So you can bend the knees quite a lot now in this position. Let the arms hang. Breathe in through the nostrils, sigh out through the mouth. <sighs> and we slowly unravel, keeping the knees bent as long as we can. Leave the head heavy, leave the arms heavy. So it's a different way of coming up. It's a soft way of coming up, slowly unravel to standing. And then however you want to, bring your feet back to the center so you can either creep them or jump them back. Give the legs a little shake. And a little bit of a, um, a counter pose, just because we've done a forward bend, we're going to do a small back bend. So you place the hands on the lower back, the fingers pointing down. That feels nice actually, just giving myself a bit of a rub there. F uh, feet are hips width apart, knees are bent. And you're going to lift, so again, this is a very important point of focus. Lift the chest, bring the elbows back, and just lean back and push your hips forward as far as you feel comfortable. It's really important though, this lift of the chest, because this is what's lengthening. Because we're bending or twisting the spine, we really want to lengthen it first. Keep the knees soft. And you can keep the neck in line with the spine, so don't, don't fling your head back too strongly. We don't want to hurt your neck. It's really opening the front of the body as well as being a back bend, so it's both things. Use your in-breath to come back up, support yourself fully with the hands. The in-breath will help you up. And then we just give everything a little shake. Good, good. So, something, uh, quite a lot going on in our centre here. And we're really wanting to, you know, really come back to our centre here. Uh, it's a good thing, the more we can practise this on the mat, the more we can come uh, use that, being able to return to the centre in everyday life, which is really important at the moment. So we're coming back to this wide leg. This is going to be windmill. This is going to work your abdominals quite a lot. Uh, and I'll, you know, you don't, if you feel that you're tired out, just do it as long as you can with me. But we're going to go for eight circles both ways. So your feet are about 45 degree angle. I don't know if you can see that clearly here. So it's not parallel, um, it's about 45 degrees. So soften the knees slightly, always unlock the knees, I'm just reminding you there. And we're going to start off by breathing in, lifting the arms up, face the hands forward, and then turn towards your left leg, looking over the left leg, and, so, and you're going to be pointing in the same direction as the toes are pointing out here. That's in breath, and then out breath, we're going to reach still with the hands and come down over that leg, sweep the fingertips across the floor, and we're going to lift up on the in-breath, 
use that in breath. Keep the knees nice and soft and then turn. So this is a big windmill, breathing out, all the way down. Out, out, out breath, out, out, out breath. The in breath lifts you up, so it's in breath. Lift your gaze, lift your arms, extend up to center, then out breath. This is number three, I think, sweeping the fingers across, breathing in all the way up. Stop and take a breath if you need to, and breathing out. Crown over this leg, sweeping up. So go in time with your breath, breathing in, and breathing out. Breathing in to lift yourself up. I kind of lost count, but I think we'll do one more anyway. Breathing in all the way up. I think it might be seven or eight. Breathing out. Keep reaching into the fingers as you extend. Look at the hands. All the way across. And then coming back up to centre. Lower the arms down. So we're not finished yet. We're just going to have a little bit of a breather here. Breathe in, breathe out with the mouth. So same thing, but the other direction now. Breathing in, lifting the arms up, palms facing forward, extend right up, turn towards the right foot now, and we're gonna breathe out. Keep looking at the hands all the way down. Sweep the fingers across the floor. Use the in-breath to lift up. Powerful inhale, turn and down, all the way down. Breathing in. If you're not reaching the floor, don't worry. Keep practicing. You know, it's this extension that we're all trying to get. You know, if you're kind of here, that's fine. It's actually, it's harder. <laughs> I find that harder. So good job, you guys who aren't going to the floor. All the way, because you kind of get this connection with the ground. It's nice breathing in, but it's use the in breath to lift up. And the out breath is coming forwards. Keep the knees nice and soft, even bent slightly, it does help. And slow. Do not do this fast because, you know, there's a lot going on in the body and we don't want to shock it so that it uh, stops us. And this is where the breath comes in. We're communicating with the body through the, through the breath, particularly that out breath. I think it's the last one. I'm not sure it's exactly the same amount. Breathing in all the way up. Come up and breathing out. Lower the arms down and bring the feet together however you wish to. Give the legs a little shake. Well done. Okay, let's uh, just come down into a little squat here. So, bringing the, my feet are quite wide apart and they're at a 45 degree angle. angle. It's good if the feet are a bit uh, as far pointing forwards as much as possible, but just be comfortable. And as I always say, you know, your heels might not be on the ground. If they're not, put a cushion or a block or something underneath them, under here. If, don't, if, they're, if they're up here, it doesn't. It feels precarious. It doesn't feel um, fun or relaxing. And once you're here, just let your body hang forwards. Relax and release the head, so the neck is getting some release there forwards. Let the hands or the forearms be on the ground. See if you can get your body between your knees there as much as possible. And keep practicing. If this, if this squat is, um, you know, difficult. Keep practicing. It will get better. And also, don't forget, if you're finding out it's impossible to get down there, you can come into a squat holding on to something. This is just a good release for the hips, you know, just having a bit of a feeling of that. So there's lots of alternatives. So don't sit down on the sofa again. <laughs> Stay with me. Okay, we're going to come back into downward dog. So put the weight into the hands. Come into this um, rag doll again. Knees are bent, don't forget. Let the body hang. Breathe into the nostrils. Sigh out through the mouth. Good. And let's be the little flower again. Think about the sun, the hot sun on your lower back. Breathing life into your back. And it's rising up through your center, through your little stem. It just cannot do anything other than lift, lift, lift and elevate and feel woken up by the sunshine. Let the shoulders come down. And just loosen everything up a little bit. Good. Okay. So now we're up standing. The gratitude prayer. Let your feet be comfortable distance apart. Knees nice and soft. Very simple this. Very sweet. Breathing in, lift the arms up. Look up to where the hands are going. Bring the hands together. And then bring them on the out breath. Bring them back down to the heart centre. 
in breath open the palms as wide as they can palms are facing up look up to the heavens to the ceiling bring the hands together breathing out keeping the breath in and out through the nostrils breathing in all the way up so think about what do i feel grateful for today it might might not be so easy there might be a lot of uh, kind of busyness and a lot of confusion and messy sort of busy mind stuff that's in the way a bit like a kind of a fog or a big scribble but whatever's there just accept it let it just dissipate look through those clouds and see if there's some little rays of sunshine something that we can really connect with what do i feel grateful for today and let that land in your body. When you think of something, bring it to your heart center. See how does that feel in my body when I feel the feelings of gratitude? Sometimes it's the little things. In fact, it's nearly always the little things. The little things. There might be something in your space that you just really love um, and enjoy having around you. There might be some plants in your room. You might be looking out at some beautiful tree or just thinking about somebody, somebody or something that you appreciate and love. Really feel that. What is the feeling that goes with that? Yeah, that's the one. So now you're thinking about what do I need today? Breathing in, lifting the arms up, reaching out to the universe, bringing the hands together. What do I need today? What am I calling in? What am I opening up myself to, receiving gladly? And bring that in, draw it in. And see if you can feel the feeling that would be connected with that if you were to receive these gifts of love, healing, energy, support, whatever the things you're reaching out for. What does it feel like when it lands in your body? See if you can just bring about, conjure up that feeling in your body. So it's so nourishing for the body to feel these feelings of gratitude, gladness, appreciation. It shifts everything. So it's really worthwhile, this practice you can do every day. I think it's the last one. Let the hands just land at the heart center. The thumbs gently making contact with that heart center. Head to stern in there. Just knees soft still, feet nice and soft. Chest lifted and opened. Neck nice and long, so chin is tucked in, so you're nice and tall. And close your eyes for a moment. Feel your whole body. How does it feel now? Feel your feet on the ground. You're grounded, you're alive, you're human. And coming up from there, you can feel all your energy coming up through your central spine. Feel your belly, your power and your light your belly, feeling your heart, your heart, the space around your heart. How does it feel today? Honestly. Yeah, however it feels, see if we can just accept how we feel right now. Good. And then just drop the hands. Let's come back into the second part. Or we're going to come into a balance now so hopefully with that you might feel a better sense of balance I certainly feel a bit more a sense of being able to come into a balance easier and we're going to come into tree balance so you can use a chair beside you or a wall if you feel like you need something to steady yourself as always there are options so tree standing on the left foot bring your eyes to focus on something in front of you on the ground or on a wall something still bring your soft gaze to that and keep breathing in and out through the nostrils. Once you've found that and you feel steady on that left foot, lift the toes, place them down, and then find the position for your right foot, either with the toes on the ground or with the foot on the calf, not on the knee, or with the foot on the upper thigh. Once you've found your position, bring that right knee out to the side, breathing in, lift the arms up, extend up, reach up. So you're extending up your branches, Let's actually have these lovely branches out instead of having the prayer position, which you usually do. So shoulders are down, but the arms are extended, the fingers are extended like little twigs. We're reaching out to the light. Lift and elevate the, the chest, lift the heart. So you're really thinking about this tree. Embody the tree. 
So particularly from your, your belly button up, imagine it's all branches, everything that's in the light, everything that's reaching to the light, reaching to the heavens. That's what trees do and sprouting new little green leaves. And everything from the belly button down is reaching into the earth, looking for nutrients and moisture. So embody that tree, that's it beautiful, expansive, wise, ancient tree. Connect that energy. Good. Now using the in-breath, bring the hands back up together. Breathing out, hands back down to heart centre. See if you can finish by lifting that right knee and lowering it down. Give the legs a shake. Beautiful. Good. I can kind of feel you there, you know, it's, it's a good feeling, it makes me happy. So we're going to put the weight onto the right foot now, take some time, spread the toes out, bring your focus to a, a point, find a very specific still point, and keep your eyes focused, breathe in and out through the nostrils, find your position of your foot, again, on the ankle, the calf, or the thigh, knee out to the side. Standing tall, lift the chest, breathing in, lift the arms up. Extend the arms, extend the fingers, wiggle the fingers, wiggle the leaves. Yeah, beautiful, good, smile. Open the heart, so the smile is like on here, on your face, but think about your heart smiling. Extending up to the light, and the roots going down from the sole of the foot into the rich, fertile earth. Enjoy, expand, breathe. To come out, we breathe in, lift the arms up, bring the palms together, breathing out, hands to the heart center. See if you can stay there, come out really gracefully by squeezing that knee up and slowly lowering that leg down, really slowly. It's very satisfying, really feeling that sense of balance. Now give the legs a shake. Good work. Let's uh, come into some half sun salutes. I will do this and I'll talk you through it over and over. So if you're new to this, don't worry. Um, and if you're, if you're familiar with this, you can go at your own speed. I'm gonna go quite slowly to it keeps us together. Focus on your breath, feet to hips width apart. Lift the toes up, place them down. Breathing in, lift the arms up. And the hands together, breathing out, the palms come down, the face comes forward, the chest comes forward, the knees are bent, the fingertips come to the ground. It's all out breath. In breath, hands on the shins, below the knees, straighten the legs, arms back, look forwards with the eyes and the chest. Breathing out, keep the legs straight, but forward bend, looking at the toes now. Bend the knees a lot, the eyes are coming up to the ceiling, the arms are coming up to the ceiling, and the in breath is lifting you up. Out breath, hands come down. Breathing in all the way up. Stretch up, breathing out, hands coming down, the chest is leading, strong belly, knees are bent, fingertips come to the ground, out breath. In breath, straighten the legs, hands on the shins below the knees, breathing in, straighten the back, look forwards, breathing out, forward bend. So we're really getting lots of length in those hamstrings. Bend the knees a lot, breathing in, lift the gaze, lift the hands, push up through the legs, in breath, out breath, hands come down. Good work, breathing in all the way up. Breathing out, hands coming down, knees bent, fingertips come to the ground, out breath. In breath, hands on the shins, lengthen the legs, back and arms are straight as well. You're like pushing against the shins slightly. Breathing out, keep the legs straight, forward bend. See if you can make contact with the ground with the hands, look at the toes. Bend the knees a lot so you can push up through the legs and inhale strongly. Lift the gaze, hands come together. Breathing out, so we'll just face the forwards, all the way down, this might be better for you. Finger, fingertips are coming to the ground, knees are bent, fingertips, look at the ground, breathing in, straighten the legs, arms back, look forwards, forward bend on the out breath, look at those toes, bend the knees a lot, breathing in all the way up, lift up, look up, fill your body with air, breathing out, arms come down, long, slow, deep breaths, breathing in all the way up, look up, breathing out, hands are coming down, knees are bending, yeah, good feeling. Breathing in, straighten the backs, arms and legs, it's like a triangle. 
and then breathing out, forward bend. Bend the knees a lot, breathing in all the way up. This will be the last one, so make it really mean something by really getting into your breath. Notice where your mind is going, keep your mind focused on what you're doing, breathing in. Look up, extend, hands are coming out, chest is going forwards, knees are bent, fingertips touch the ground. Look at the ground, look at the toes. Breathing in, straighten the legs, the arms and the back. Look forward, straight back, chest is coming forwards. Now we're going to forward bend. Let's stay here for a couple of breaths. Breathing in and breathing out. So. The chest is coming down to the big toes and imagine the tail is lifting up away from there. So there's two points moving away from each other in space. Don't look at the knees, look at the big toes. It's a different feeling. So really working to the backs of the thighs, the hamstrings, and also the back is really working hard. So we're going to come onto the front of the body, but we're going to come there in an interesting way. So we're going to just Bend the knees here, put the weight onto the left foot, and we're going to step back a very big step with the right foot. It might be a couple of steps. And then we're going to take the left foot back, so we're in a plank. Remembering with plank, the chest is above the hands. You can see my chest is above my hands, not my face. If your face is above your hands, look what happens to the body. Plank is a plank of wood, so it's like the whole body is in one line. So the head is not rolling, the neck is long, you're looking down the ground in front of your hands, you're pushing the heels back, your legs are strong, the thighs are strong. We're going to come down to the ground now, and you have a choice. You can bring your knees down and then come down to the front of the body, or you can use the strength in your arms and lower yourself down, whatever you feel is good for you. Once you're down, let's have a rest everybody. Uh, we've been working hard on a Monday. You can have a lovely cup of tea afterwards, time for tea. For now let's stay with this, stay with your body, stay with your breath. Notice at this point, you know, where is where is my mind going to? And notice also, how do I feel? How do I feel now? How's my body feel? How's my breath? Okay. Let's come into some back bends. So, nice simple back bend, bring the forehead to the ground. Back to the hands on the ground, try and bring the legs together. On the in-breath, you're going to lift the eyes, the nose, lift the face off the ground, lift the chest forwards. And then you're going to lift the arms and their fingers are extending back and up. And then you're going to lift the legs. So everything, as much as your body is off the ground as possible. And when you're here, if you can, smile. It makes it feel so much better. Don't hold your breath either. We're breathing them out the whole time. So you might find on the in-breath, you can just lift a little higher. Make that a bit stronger out-breath, but see if you can maintain it. The whole body's working here as well. One more breath in, and then slowly lower down, rest on the other side of the head. If that doesn't feel good, you can always rest your head on the block or the backs of the hands, if that feels uh, better for you. Some people find that's just too much on the neck, or you can just rest, you know, rest the head on the side, on the hands. Lots of options, always. If it doesn't feel good, you know, we try and find something else. And never ever go into anything, if you feel pain, that sharp pain, withdraw. Discomfort's okay, you know, but not pain. It's not yoga if you're doing that, if you're pushing or forcing. Let's come back again, reset. Let's just try one more of these. So as you breathe in, lift the face off the ground, lift the chest, lift the arms, lift the legs. Yeah, and smile. And we're now going to bring the arms forwards got space, swing them right forwards, so we're coming into this beautiful superman, feel your power, feel your strength, keep as much of the body off the ground, keep breathing in and out, smile broadly, yeah, flying, we're flying through the air, now breathing out, swing the arms back slowly, keep, keep the body lifted still, breathe out, one more breath in, and lower down to the ground, now you want to come out of this, so bring some ease into the body, bring the hands either side of the face here, push into the hands, walk the hands back, sit back into the pose of the child, extended child actually, we'll have the arms forward because it's a nice feeling there. Bring the forehead down, or you can rest the forehead on your hands, that's fine too, or a cushion. Don't forget, if you're, 
If your bottom isn't reaching your ankles, that's okay. Just place a cushion or cushions uh, behind your knees so that you can be comfortable, so you can sit back. And believe me, if you keep practicing this, if you did this posture every day, wherever you are, if you were up here, you know, you're kind of, you will gradually find this position. And it feels so good to um, be on that journey, you know, when you see each time it's a little bit better, that will spur you on. But the more regularly you do it, the better. So every day is the best. Just a little bit every day, five minutes every day is good. So uh, from here, we're gonna come into, just for a moment, just to, actually it will probably not, might even feel quite good, downward dog, so keep the arms extended in front of you. I'm up onto all fours. Tuck the toes under on the in breath. Lift the knees off the ground on the out breath. And we'll just pedal these heels. Yeah. And don't forget the alternative to this posture, if this feels too strong, is again, bringing the hands onto that chair or piece of furniture and just taking the bottom back. So you see this lovely long line I'm making with my spine. I'm getting lots of uh, lengthening. If you're on the ground, then you can push back with the hands. The head is, it's as if the head wants to come down to the ground here. So we're not looking at our hands, we're looking back at our feet. Keep the tummy tucked in. Breathe into the chest. Good work. And then we just come back down to the ground, onto the knees, sit back onto the heels. Bring the boy to the ground, sweep the arms back into the pose of the child. And just stay there for a moment. Relax. Breathe. a little bit in this posture. Before we come into a relaxation, I'm going to do a little breathing practice with you. So just breathe, first of all, just release your breath, breathing in through the nostrils. Sigh out from the mouth. Good, relax the jaw, the face, good. And I'll come up slowly to seated. You can stay kneeling if that's something you want to practice or you can sit cross-legged on the ground. Um, you can sit on a chair as well, if you prefer. Sit on a cushion if you're, if you're sitting cross-legged. Whatever works for you, you know. So we're gonna practice some lovely breathing practice. Um, and I really thought this is gonna be very useful. It's a meditative kind of breathing practice, more than just uh, breathing. But it's called Samavriti which means equal movement or equal breath or equal um, yeah, equal measure. And the, the sama is the even bit and the vritti. Vritti is the, the fluctuations and movements of the mind. So this is evening that out. So this is gonna be something for balance, for calm, for centering. And it's a simple and really effective breathing and, and uh, mind focusing practice. So we begin just by finding our seat just moving and getting your back nice and comfortable so that your, it's very important your spine is upright and open and relaxed so we're not rigid. You might even want to lean against a wall, that's really fine. Hands are just rested on your knees, hands up and down, up or down. You could make a little mudra, connecting the thumb and first finger if you'd like to, or just rest the hands in the lap, whatever feels good to you. Chest is lifted, shoulders down, heads on top of the body rather than forwards tucking the chin in slightly. Just close the eyes for a moment. Breathe in through the nostrils. Sigh out through the mouth. Okay. So this even breath, we're just going to start off just to feel and connect with our breath a little bit. Just feel the movement of the breath coming in and out through the nostrils. So soften the face. Feel the breath coming in and out through the nostrils. And then we're going to just count the breath for two reasons. One, to make sure the breath is even and also to focus our mind. So we're going to count, this is also called box breathing as well. Uh, the count of four is really nice because it's, it's like a box, like a square. And there's a visual that goes with this, but we'll just start with the simple box breath first of all. So first of all, just breathing in for four, count two, three, four, and then out through the nostrils, two, so just counting for four in and four out. So we're just getting an even, steady breath. Okay, you can count as fast or as slow as you may need to, but it's the count of four. 
So just let that settle down a little bit, that count of four. Breathing in for four and breathing out for four. Very simple, very steady, very measured. You can also imagine the breath coming up from the base of the spine to the top of the spine. And as you breathe out, it's coming down, if that helps you. So once you've steadied and evened the breath out and count, uh, counting it, then there's an extra, to bring the box feeling, because at the moment we're just going in a line, then we're breathing in for four, and at the top of that in-breath, you hold the breath for four, for the same count. And then you breathe out for four, then you hold the breath out for four. So we've got four different things we're doing. So you breathe in for four. So it's in, two, three, four. Hold the breath in, two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four. Hold the breath out, two, three, four. Back to the beginning. So you breathe in, two, three. Yeah, so that's three, four. Keep going with that. So hopefully you've got that now. So it's breathing in for four, holding for four, holding the breath in for four, sorry. Breathing out for four, holding the breath out for four. So let's continue with that. And if you're a visual person, or actually you can map this on the body as well, but as a visual, you can stay for how you're doing it at the moment, but I find this really useful when I learned this practice, is I imagined a square in front of me. And as I was breathing, I start on the bottom left hand corner. So if you want to do this with me, you can. So I start, my, my, my focus is on the bottom left hand corner as I'm looking at the square in front of me. And I start my in breath there and I travel up from the bottom left hand corner to the top left hand corner. So I breathe in, two, three, four to the top left hand. And I hold my breath in from the top left hand to the top right hand. That's for four. And I breathe out from the right top hand, right hand corner to the bottom right hand corner for four. Then I hold my breath in from the bottom right hand to the bottom left hand. So we're just forming this square. We've basically mapped it on to a square. The same thing, breathing in up the left side, holding on the top edge of the square, breathing out down the right side of the square and holding the breath out from the bottom of the square. Like I said, you can map this onto the body if you like and think about starting on your uh, left hip and um, traveling up the left side, going across the body, down the right. See if that feels better, to, down the right side to the, to the right hip and then across from right hip to left hip. You can do it either way. So hopefully I haven't confused you by giving these different options. Um, but the main thing is this even breath, breathing in for four, holding for four, Breathing out for four, holding the breath out for four, and following that. Let's give that a little bit longer to do that. going to come now into a lying down position. Just to close the practice, we're going a little bit, maybe a couple of minutes over 
Yeah, I'm sure you don't mind. Hopefully you don't mind. If you want to, if you're done now, that's fine. So extend the fingers towards the toes, legs stretched out in front of you. And slowly lower down your body, breathing in and out through the nostrils the whole way, smiling all the way through the uh, difficulties. Yeah, we just stay with it. We keep just going, we keep going, we keep going. And then when we are down on the ground, we can let go everything. Let go everything. Lying on the ground in Shavasana, the space between the feet on the ground, the space between your arms and your body, the palms are facing upwards. You can always put your hands on the body if that feels better for you. Cover yourself with a blanket if you want to, put some warmer clothes back on, whatever feels good to you. We'll just lie for a few moments in Shavasana. Let your body relax, let go, enjoy, enjoy your breath, enjoy the support of the ground. Notice how your body feels now, the impact of your efforts in today's practice. Well done everybody. Thank you for being with me and staying with this. And just relax your breath, let it just rise and fall softly. Feel your belly rising and falling softly. Just feel, feel the breath is like the ocean coming up over your body and washing away. So you could feel it almost like a wave coming up over your body as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, it's just washing away, clearing out all the rubbish that you don't need. So it's cleansing, soft, easy, effortless. There's nothing to do now yourself this minute just to let go and hopefully this might help I'm going to just chant a mantra for you the Gayatri mantra yourself a full stretch on the ground with your hands and feet. Breathe into your body. Feel your life. Feel your life force. Feel your breath. Feel your energy. Appreciate yourself in this moment. And then bend your knees and hug your knees to your body if you're lying on the ground. Rock and roll the lower back. Yeah, we didn't do that yesterday. I'm looking forward to seeing messages from people I'm like I mean, you're quite far away so I can't see the names from here but I like seeing the little things pop up so yeah it's all very welcome come into your seat if you want to or you can just stay resting you can roll onto your side slowly come back up to seat it rub the body look at your legs as you just give them a bit of attention appreciate these legs and these arms and the body Try and touch the whole surface, the back, shoulders, thank you, shoulders, and the heart. Give that a rub. Yeah, neck, face. We are alive in this moment and we're kind of together. 
you know, in time we uh, cross different time zones even, hopefully today, you never know. Or you're here at another time when you're watching the video, and that's also welcome. Let's just uh, rub the palms together. We're a bit over time, so you might as well go well over time. Create some heat and energy between the palms of the hands. And place that heat and energy over the heart centre. And this is a moment to close your eyes, bring your attention into your heart space, and bring to mind your Sankalpa. The Sanskrit word for your res resolve, or your intention, or affirmation, whatever you want to call it. But it is a positively framed sentence, a phrase. And it can start with something I am, I can, I will, I have. And follow it with whatever you need. Say that to yourself, take it deep into your heart, plant that seed, water that seed, give it energy, light, warmth, your attention. Most valuable, your attention. Choose where you place your attention, choose wisely. Nature is a really wise place. Your breath is a wise place where it's needed. Good. Everything else will follow where your attention goes. Notice where it's going now. Give yourself a smile and your hands together. Namaste. Thank you so much for being here today. I just close with another bell because I've had requests for the bell. So here's the bell again. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Tracy. Good to see you here. Nice to see you. I see some familiar faces, names here. Um, have a good day. Enjoy. And uh, don't forget, I'll be back here tomorrow. Maybe Yoga Nidra tomorrow with a little bit of a warm up beforehand. Uh, yeah, enjoy. <laughs>